What is up YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com and in this video I wanted to show you Surfer SEO Content Editor in combination with Jasper AI and how I use it to create SEO optimized blog posts. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm here in my computer and on Surfer SEO, once you log in, you can go ahead and click on Content Editor on the top. So recently I wrote an article and I just wanted to go over uh, an overview of the content editor and how I create SEO optimized blog posts. So recently, and I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of how I come up with keywords, because that's also an important factor when uh, writing an article. So I use KW Finder. So I was looking for a keyword to write an article about, and I wanted it to be related to AI copywriting. So I went ahead and searched AI copywriting and I have other video tutorials on KW Finder, so I'll put a link in the description so you can check those out. But in this video, I just wanted to show you how I came up with the keyword. So I went, my main one was AI, or I started with AI copywriting, and I went down and I found right here, best AI copywriter. So this is the actual keyword that I looked into, and it was the one that I wanted to use to write the article. So this was my main keyword, best AI copywriter. So it has a KW, the content um, keyword difficulty of 26, which is uh, still easy. So this is the keyword that I wanted to target. So I went over here to content editor uh, inside of Jasper. And I also used Surfer SEO to write this article. So the best part about Surfer SEO and Jasper AI is that you can integrate Surfer SEO into Jasper when writing your articles. So if I go over to, I guess I don't have it open. Let's go ahead and go to Jasper. And I go ahead and log into Jasper. And I'll go into documents that I recently wrote and here it is. So inside of Jasper AI, there's a SEO mode right here in the middle. So when I click on that, it actually integrates with Surfer SEO. So as I'm writing, I can actually look at the content score related to, um, to what I was writing about. So here, let's go back into uh, Surfer SEO. Okay, so the first thing I like to start with is when I'm inside the content editor, I click right here on the customize. So anytime you're going to start, you want to see what the competitors are and if they're relevant uh, articles. So right here, it'll also automatically optimize for you. But I would recommend going in here and double checking and make sure each one is relevant to what you're writing about. So in this article, I went ahead and looked at it, seeing which ones were the most relevant and picked those to write with. Because for this article, it actually re requested that I write 4,500 to 5,200 words. And it had a 42 headings, 153 paragraphs, and 27 images. So you can actually even customize it here. And when you customize it here, it'll change the headings, the paragraphs uh, to make it. But I went ahead and, and stuck with that. All right. And these were the actual terms that it came up with to use. So you have these uh, to include in the actual uh, blog article. All right, so once I, I picked the correct ones, it's time to go. So then what I did after that is you start right here, you have guidelines, outline, and brief. So what I did was I click on outline, and the first thing you wanna do is want, you wanna come up with the title for this actual article. So right here it gave me a few examples of titles to use. I went ahead and picked just the six best AI copywriter tools in 2022. So I have here examples of different uh, titles to use. Next, I went into headings and I picked the headings that I was gonna use. So right here, it gives you examples of headings to use. These are AI writing tools. So what I ended up doing was picking the headings for this article from here. And I that's how I started out with 
with um, an outline for this article. So as you can see, if I scroll down, once I go into the actual uh, tools that I use, let me go ahead and um, find it right here. What is AI copywriting? What is AI copywriting? So then I wrote using Jasper an article or a paragraph related to what is AI copywriting? What are the benefits of using AI copywriting? So these were the, let's go back up. These are the headings. And then you can also do the questions that are here. So what you want to do when you're using a content editor, you want to, here's the content score. So if you actually, you want to know what the content score is, oops, it's not working at the moment. Basically content score is a number between 100 that grades content quality and relevancy. So you want to be anywhere from 80 to a hundred, um, anything between 71 to 90, yeah, 71 is average, 90 is on the top. So right now on this article, it's 87. All right, so what the structure for this article, it was requesting that I write, like I said, uh, around 4,500 words. Uh, that's what I wrote. I ended up with 53 headings and 156 paragraphs. This number can also be a little bit higher, but I went ahead and just stuck with 15 images. And one of the most important things are NLP uh, natural language processing. So these are the words that it recommends to use inside the article. So the actual word AI copywriting tools, it, it would like it to be anywhere from 13 to 48 times. So I ended up using it 28 times. Uh, same thing with AI copywriting tool. It says six to 22, I use 12. All right, so on these words here, you can actually uh, if you wanted to highlight the terms, you can click here and everywhere in the article where that word is at, it'll show up and it'll also give you um, examples. So like this word here, it'll give you examples from your competitors on how they use it. So you can actually uh, create, come up with an idea of how to use it. So here's examples uh, to use. So again, um, this article here ended up coming out to be 4,500 words, 53. And as you can see, I don't use all of the words it recommends. Um, you can continue to keep adding them, but like I said, I'm actually happy with 87. So what I went ahead and did was, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of the actual article. So if, over here on my website, jimlopez.com, here's the actual article if you wanna check it out. I'll put a link to it. And this is the quote finished product. So right here, it'll have um, six best AI copywriting tools. This is the intro article. And like I said, this was all written with the help of Jasper AI. I ended up using about maybe 90% of this is written by Jasper. I just had to kind of fix up some of the actual quote pricing um, with some of these services. And what I also did was I added a couple YouTube videos embedded in the article that I've made that are actually uh, relevant to that actual AI tool. All these AI tools I've used, of course, there's a few of them on here that I've used more, but um, uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check out this article and how it came out using uh, Surfer SEO for optimization and then Jasper AI for the actual help of writing. So right here, this is uh, inside of Jasper. And like I said, uh, I have right here the ability to use commands to write. So this is what I did. And like I said, I didn't want to go in and create the whole video. It would be much longer. Like I said, I want to give you the example of just the overview of how I've used it. And in here, I have the ability, like I said, to use Surfer SEO inside of Jasper. So like I said, as, as I was writing, I can see how many words is asking, how many of these uh, word, recommended words I'm using. And then of course, inside of Jasper, I have the power mode where I can use all these different commands to write the article. 
All righty. So going back to Surfer SEO, there's one other thing I would like to cover. A lot of times um, I get asked that AI copywriting tools, uh, what is the plagiarism? So inside of actual Surfer SEO, you have the ability to run plagiarism checker. So it'll scan the entire article. Let's see what it comes up with. So this article actually shows that it's 90% uh, plagiarized. And for a second, you might get scared. But I went ahead and already posted this article. So right here is giving examples of where it actually, this, this information is at. And it's actually on the actual blog post. So as you can see right here, jimlopez.com, six best AI copywriting tools. So all of this is from the actual article that's already been posted. So yeah, of course, right here, you get scared and say, hey, 90%. But uh, before the article was published, it was um, 0%, I think 0 or 1% uh, showed plagiarism. So as you can see, the actual plagiarism actually works because it went ahead and found where this actual information is. And it happened to be on the actual blog post that I created. So that's an actual good thing that you can actually trust the plagiarism checker to make sure that it's doing it correctly. So that's the reason for that. All right, so that's basically an overview of the content editor with a lot of the details on how I use to write an SEO optimized blog post. If you wanna check out the actual article, I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link in the description if you're interested in Surfer SEO or Jasper AI. There's one last thing I wanna um, show you if you stay to the end. This is if you don't have Surfer SEO and you actually just want to create a blog outline, if you go to surferseo.com and you come right here to products, product, and you go to AI outline generator, you can it can create an outline for you in a matter of seconds so that you can use for a blog article. This is for free. Uh, this is just you put your, your keyword here or your article and it will generate an outline. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, go ahead and give it a little like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Any questions, any comments, greatly appreciated. I will catch you in the next video, and thanks for watching.